we have breaking news. I'm toasted. Hi. Well, Jaden, let's hear get a hi from you. Hi. Nice. Uh, no. <laughs> hey, that that side. Sammy, that's right. you go. You go. Hey, that's right. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was the Heimlich maneuver. Mm, mm. It's actually the Malaita. Pelicans. I'm that's the the Pelicans. Mine, mine, mine. No, no, no. The Mulmerton Hockey Club. But if you're oh. ever in danger on the streets, in life, in bed, yeah, uh-huh, and it just scares people. Off a pelican will come and save you. Mm. <laughs> Probably not. That Can't even score like a, a damn goal. Mm, Adidas. Adida. Yeah, Adidas. Sponsored by Adidas. But Just yes, types. welcome to Kids Eat Toast Sometimes, our last episode with Jaden, before he gets thrown into TikTok oh prison. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing me to the lion's den, guys, but yeah, yeah. It's, not a, it's not been a good morning for me. How, how does it feel? I feel like okay. I'm a proper podcaster now. I like it. I feel it. like uh, I needed to, you know, bring me, um, something to bring me down to, to earth. <laughs> but um, yeah, well. We, we need a neck sponsor, you know, like a, a gel Oh, your neck turning, oh, well, you get into it. Every <laughs> a trans act patch. Kets is trans act. Mm. Get the clicks. That'll and get also you. have a good neck. Yeah. Maybe you getting cancelled this week. No. I feel like Sam's <laughs> going to get cancelled this, this episode. Uh, I think people just learn to expect. Just to learn, to learn to expect <laughs> Sam. He's wild, he's crazy, he's unpredictable. There's nothing. There's no, You can't get cancelled. Like, I mean, we don't make any money. What are you going to cancel? <laughs> <laughs> you can't hurt us. You can't hurt me. We immune. We David Goggins. You can only cancel people if you take away their money. Mm. Otherwise, yeah. you just don't like them. Mm. <laughs> don't watch. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But that's why Real. all the hate comes from TikTok because it comes up in the feed and they feel attacked by the content. Mm. Or, mm. Whereas YouTube, you have to seek out content. Yeah. So mm. you can never be like, you very rarely do I watch a YouTube video and be like, oh, I hated this. <laughs> 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 but I will watch TikTok and I'm like, yay, cringe. That's yeah. mainly my feeling with TikTok, mm. cringe. Yeah. So yeah. We, we, Chloe, we got, we got some reviews in that we wanted to spend some time dealing with and then we'll do some reviews later because we we're going to review you as well. Because <laughs> you suck. <laughs> <laughs> the first one is we are giving Tegan and CrossFit strange a shout out. Tegan says, "Love the podcast, ha <laughs> ha, like a banter from proper staffers." <laughs> that laugh was like that, like gr- like a gremlin emoji. Just CrossFit, the whole CrossFit, like no, the whole CrossFit he, community. He says, "I'm gonna comment until I get a shout out, or you give CrossFit a shout out." But that sorry, help sorry, did, did I did I mention I do CrossFit? Mm. Did mm. I you cringe? Know? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's gonna be I my new thing. Try not to cringe. Ew. <laughs> but there you go. But we still need you to keep commenting. Mm. Um, so maybe get another thing. But thank you, Tegan. Thank you, Tegan. And thank then you, someone Tegs. said, oh, well, not someone. <laughs> you have a name, Craig, and uh, we appreciate you. But Craig said, if I had a quill every time Samuel mentions Zimbabwe, I'd be a porcupine. <laughs> nice I one. really like that. Yeah. Zimbabwe is my Roman Empire. Mm. I yeah. think about it. <laughs> How often do you think about Zimbabwe? The Mapam Gubwe rhinos. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I, I just put two words together that <laughs> came into my brain. The golden rhino, something like that. Yeah. Mm. The golden basket of Africa. Mm. The bread basket. The bread basket. The bread basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he got there eventually. <laughs> I'm just saying. The Mapam Gubwe hill. <laughs> Uh-huh. That I mean, that's very famous. Robert Mapungab <laughs> Mugabe. I feel a, like I Gob. feel like one like of the goats. Zimbabwe is your Roman Empire, but also Pitbull. Mm. Purple. Pitbull. Oh, Pitbull. Pitbull. Yes. Yeah. Big time. But the, the the main thing about Zimbabwe is Zimbabwe loves us back because we are number six Ooh. on the charts in comedy interviews. Lovely. What? Well, that's in, Zimbabwe. In, yeah, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Zimbabwe. Yeah. Yo, if I had a gig to spare, I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> One gig <of> that. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Thank you for listening. <laughs> From wherever you are in, in Zimbabwe, it's a mm. beautiful country. There you go. Have another cool, yeah, donkey. Craggy cracks. <laughs> um, I love it there. It's still the best best holiday I've ever done. Is, I've heard, I've heard house the same. Boat. House I've heard boat, the same. Yeah. A lot of yeah. people like Zimbabwe to go. Great to people. Yeah. yeah. Very nice people. Mm-hmm. And then. Not nice crocodiles. Mm-mm. 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 Don't want to go, nice don't go, go for a for a swam swam. 
Um, yeah, they are none. Mm. On fat mm. people's feet. The nice, crocodile, find the, croc. the nice crocodiles are the ones that Steve Irwin had. Mm. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. That's a nice crocodile. But he crocodile got, he, who, what, what got him? What got him again? Stingray. Stingray. Mm. 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 Proofs in the pudding. I don't yeah. know what that means. But we're big in Africa was what I wanted to get because these are just where we top 10. And I thought yeah, it's always nice to, to share these sort of things with you guys because without you, uh, it's just three people talking. Yeah, two, um, three cameras, or four cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them everything. So South Africa can get fucked. We're in the top twenty there. We're usually in the top ten. South Africa. Yeah. What are you doing? Ghana. <laughs> we're up there. Zimbabwe has had sixth, ninth in Namibia. But of course, you know mm. that that's that that's you, where you find I think the most Afrikaans people in yeah Africa Namibia. Do you think do you think Namibia is still like a part of us? Like obviously they're not a part of us, but do you feel like there's still like some relationship between South Africa and Namibia? Yeah, I think mm. there is. Was, yeah, I also yeah. feel the same. I feel like they. I feel more closely attached to Namibia than Joburg. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe actually no, not Joburg. More like Limpopo. Mm. Yeah, mm. Uh, Gambia. Shout out Gambia. We're seventh. Mali, now we just we head into the fringes, yeah. <laughs> and I, but the real OGs, Sierra Leone, Ooh. Yeah. number two, mm-hmm. they eat this shit up there. Ooh. And, and Burkina Faso, mm. mm-hmm. Burkina Faso, where the they legal love drinking this. age is thirteen. I still, really? that's also one of my Roman empires. I I've, can't I've always that. thought though, you do need to have a few drinks to listen to the pod. You'd have more giggles mm. then. I think it'll be more enjoyable. <laughs> no, yeah. true. The one time, <laughs> the one time. That we had one while podcasting it was amazing. No, not for us. Oh. I, I, I need to be sharp, yeah. I need to be concise. Sober Willie. Especially when I'm trying to find the Mapum Gubwe Rhino. <laughs> um, so That's no. a tongue twister. No, no, if you... If, say that three times fast. You just can't. <laughs> but, so I decided to, you know, really investigate Sierra Leone mm. on Wikipedia. Okay. And it says it's a country in West Africa okay. on the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, side not in yeah anyway uh, it's known for its white sand beaches lining the Freetown Peninsula the capital city Freetown commemorates the national slave trade history with the Cotton Tree Landmark and King Yards Gate both were known as a place of refuge for returned slaves in the 18th and 19th centuries mm-hmm. wow Rich history. Shout out for well, poor history, but uh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. But um, and around about eight million, eight and a half million people. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, the currency is the Sierra, Sierra Leone Leon. What? Endorsed by Leona Lewis. <laughs> Coincidentally, she is on the 10 um, Leon. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know Harry Panera is also from Sierra Leone. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, not obviously from there. I think his parents were from there. But from there. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Mm. No, so I, I've seen photos. It looks beautiful. And big, again, Freetown. You know, when people are called like democratic or Freetown, it's usually the opposite. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe the, the SL government wants yeah. to get us out. Yeah. We will do anything for money. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Eri Leo. <laughs> Just about anything. So yeah, yeah that's that, that's my piece on thing. That's my um, that was my big lovely. research for Thank the you. for lovely. the week. I see Thank you. I see I mean I didn't need to know this comment, but apparently Tabo says about me, she's overrated. And then Justin Chetty said hundred percent. Yeah, but I, then Rudolph Duplessis, mm. D P Dolphy okay. comes in and says, Never have I read a comment more wrong. Ooh. And this was after a whole video was published of him getting exposed in indoor hockey. That's true. So that's a ride or die. That's true. Yeah. But the Topo's comments got 16 likes. Ooh. I hey? didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 16 people would thought about it and go, Overrated. I agree. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. That's, that's a tough one. I don't know. They also wrote about you. Zonda wrote, you are so white. Where are you from? So I don't know if that was like, wow, I wish I could be as white as you or, or like, uh, you're so white. I feel where like, where that's like, from? I feel yeah. like that's like, be, you need to get in the sun. I'm from Constantia. Uh, tell we you. have trees <laughs> with shade. I'm actually a vampire. <laughs> you see, I think that's where you get the down votes. <laughs> I'm just being myself. <laughs> I'm not totally a vampire. <laughs> uh, it's good to gang up on Chloe. Yeah. It's, it's, I feel I'm rebranding, getting away from being ganged up on. 
Mm. No, I don't know about that. Well, <laughs> the pod is very early when you're going to yes, see that. Yes, that's true. That's yeah. true. But uh, yeah. Kieran Diaram also wrote when we, ch- we started chatting about uh, exams and exam mm. stress and superstitions. Mm. And if you're listening and in matric to this podcast, switch it off. Thank you for the... Li- but you hit the books. Hit the books. Hit the books or have a sleep. Study guide. Yeah. And yeah. Don't, do, don't do energy drinks. That's... I always feel you think mm. it's going to make you more productive. It's the, you know, oh, all night gang and... Mm. So it's not going to work. Yeah. Mm. So have you ever done all nighter for four weeks? Never, never. Ever? Mm. Never? All nighter? No, I've actually never pulled all nighter. No, I'm I just go and do it. I, I, don't, I don't know how that's. Po- I'm like, what's the point? Yeah. And the not, next day is bad. Yeah. Mm. I don't, it's not even like I can't do it. I just don't need to do it. I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like you kind of did when you were traveling. Like, I think you slept for 20 minutes. Oh, but aren't you talking about an academic all nighter? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've stayed up all night. All in general. Mainly for women. Yeah. <laughs> we be all this is unhinged this is the much you're talking all that. Right. this is uh. the much but so Kieran Diaram wrote yeah <laughs> who starts a comment with that? Yeah. but he wrote my pre-exam routine revolved around me crying for a few minutes before saying the rosary alone in the bathroom <laughs> everybody's God's got not their listening. process <laughs> too late brother yeah God is framing that as a lesson <laughs> because you weren't listening in your other lessons so now <laughs> now you need to get you need to get flames <laughs> but the the worst comment you know the one that uh, really hits home hurts and uh, left me in a just a all of tears no it didn't but anyway it was from shay first of all shay that is the dumbest name i've ever heard but anyway <laughs> shay wrote get a camera a mic start a podcast make up lies make cock cock <laughs> cuck. make cuck content how easy this is of course speaking about jade and mm. gideon over here mm. talking about load load shedding in the cape mm. flats but it is that easy so um <laughs> Look at us. it's very yeah. easy yeah <laughs> we're doing it <laughs> do, you, do you want to say anything horrible to shave no i don't think you need to fight fire with fire mm. okay there's be no the such big, thing as bad publicity be the bigger person mm. no nope. mm. well ash believes that there is because she commented on the thread this clip is going to get you cancelled and then someone fair. wrote for real yeah and that's when i thought this might be getting real <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair so Could get cancelled but you want to def- defend your position and then we can we can clip it put it up just Look. explain because you know these people are idiots mm. no they're not <laughs> idiots but no i know get, just yeah. but just comment something nice Look, fellow, <laughs> what do you call it fellow toasties um no these are haters oh these are the haters so not fellow toasties this is fish paste <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so i obviously said that tafel sikh um did not get low cheating i said i think tafel sikh uh, did not get any low cheating my mother has been working in which was playing for about 30 years um she's a teacher and she informed me that when load shedding just, you know, um, came back, I think it was about a year or two ago, mm. the resurgence of load shedding, she said that um, Tafelsicht did not obviously get some load shedding because of how bad the area is. Um, it could have changed. I was going on that information. Uh, so if I did obviously get it wrong, I apologize. Not really. Um, if not, this why not? This feels like a not YouTuber not. apology. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, yeah. No, no, That's no. That's actually for Shay and Ash. Yeah. yeah. But, but I think that... You, you you've hit the nail on the head there. Mm. That you you were just you were chatting about a lived experience. Yeah. It has it seems like it's changed because someone said, Hey, I'm from Tafelsach. We don't get low trading. Why's my lights off? Yeah, he said, Yeah, the lights off right now. <laughs> well, the Maybe fu- two units. The fuck you talking about <laughs> podcast guy? So yeah. yeah. So but then again, the good with the bad, Kyle and countless other individuals have commented mm. I want Jaden back on the pod. Yeah. Appreciate that. Big ups, yes. big ups, big man. And then for all of you, for future reference, because Jaden complained, he said, these guys aren't spelling my name right. Yeah. I hate them. I hate myself. Jaden, in this edition, <laughs> Gideon, is spelled J-A-D-O-N. Mm. Get it right. Get it right, people. Rough. Rough yeah. spelling that <laughs> So That's why I don't like my name, if I'm being honest. Yes. Really? Mm, because if I, say for example, I phone in for, let's say I order pizza or something, mm. I'll say, they all say, order for who? I'll say, Jaden. They'll say, oh, Jason. I'm like, no, Jaden. So when I order mm. food online or yeah. on, on the phone, I'll just say Jack. I don't say my name. I just oh, say Jack. Yeah. Well, why don't you just say Jason? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then they'll be, what? Jaden? Yeah, yeah, they'll do that. <laughs> so, um, okay. yeah, I don't like my name because of the spelling and all the... You know, the, the yeah. stuff that comes with it. I see. Mm. I see. Okay. And then just our, our last one, because it comes from a good person, friend of the show, friend of everyone here, except for Chloe. Um, <laughs> Jody Erasmus 
9198, the year he was born. Special <laughs> pod, even better people. We love cats. Good to have the one and only Mazakes mm. on the show as well. So thank you. Thank you very much for your comments. Yeah. We love them. Keep them coming through on YouTube, whether you you know comment below or review the podcast on mm. Apple Podcasts. Mm. Uh, uh, unless, again, it's horrible stuff, then we go to TikTok and Instagram. Mm. Yeah, okay. I, I also <laughs> did see a couple, a, a couple comments about like wanting us to change kits up a little bit and i'll put it to you guys what who would you like us to have on the podcast Guess what would wise. you like what would you like to see more of like be very open to it and would love ideas so mm. who would you like to see hosted on the podcast yeah but um, we're only gonna we, we also won't do that if it's a bad idea yeah right. no obviously <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad ideas yeah. bring them here yeah. <laughs> chloe you had a you also had a busy weekend shooting doing I a do lot of I, i've got some show and tell okay we, we are bringing back um the og show and tell just for this okay, episode so i got some <laughs> i shot this weekend for pure blue which is a new <laughs> you were shooting <laughs> oh shooting yeah yeah um pure blue a new supplement company in cape town they just launched on sunday so yeah and it's fantastic it's mm. sam and i've been having this every morning you gotta have it with oat milk yep. it is delicious and it's blue so Fantastic. Good health is benefits. It like a blue drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah so would you yeah. say you eat healthily, Jaden? I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to. I think everybody wants to eat healthy. Well, I mm. assume so. Because um, <laughs> you don't want to die. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't. I'm not the, the health conscious, you know, freak. Um, but I do have, you know, some sweets and chocolates now and then. Mm. When was the last time you had fast food? Fast food. Uh, Which, if you order an Uber Eats, is always slow and cold. I had so. Nando's last weekend. Oh, Nando's is Ooh, delicious. So but it's spinny, eh? It Nando's is. is I expensive. buy the spicy rice. Yeah. <laughs> Recently, it hasn't been that spicy, though. Would you agree? Well, I ordered the hot, so it has <laughs> been spicy. But, I'm uh, kind of a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, sometimes it is, you know, not, not the greatest. It's the yeah. only... Yeah. My Nando's order is half chicken, medium heat... I'm white mm. uh, with peri peri sharing chips. Mm. What's the difference? The chips or the wedges? The chips. You're supposed no. to share it, but I, I share it with myself. The wedges. <laughs> and but then it's the only thing that half chicken is the only thing I eat with my hands. I feel like an oh, animal. It's okay. so you just, good. Like you just the carcass, yeah, yeah. You, know? you just tear into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your go to Nando's order? It's a quarter chicken. Okay, and wedges or chips? Chips. I do like the Japan. spicy rice though. But mm. recently it's been so spicy. Mm. So, yes. Yeah. But the big fast food news is the Elizabeth KFC meal. So, mm. um, you know, we've been speaking about the spring box a lot. So we love them. Uh, anyway, they had a uh, Elizabeth ordered KFC on part of the tour bus tour. Obviously, mm. that's a redundant sentence, Wellington. <laughs> but um, then KFC, you know, like all these companies, they must be quick with it. They must yeah. be quick with it. Oh, why are we going to eat your chicken? They uh, offered a 44 rand meal, which included a uh, Colonel Burger, hey Colonel Burger, <laughs> um, Oreo Crusher, and mm -hmm. chips for 44 bucks. Jeez. Unbelievable. Series. Yeah. And, they, uh, for, and it was like the whole 44% yeah. off thing. Is it still because, on? I don't know. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> That's what we're having for lunch. <laughs> don't, you think, don't you think that it's so crazy to be on that level of fan that your Uber Eats order like becomes famous? A national meal. Yeah, like you, national you literally meal. like. You just need some sustenance on this like mm, incredible yo, trophy tour. Yo, Urban could and crush so me. <laughs> wow. What did I say? Bark for daddy. Ruff. <laughs> <laughs> Bark for Elizabeth. Bark for Urban. My God. But I think it's high time that we start the news. Mm. But well, there was a bit of news. I hate South African news. Full disclaimer. Really? So right. Chloe, to the news. <laughs> No, I, I just, I don't know. It's, 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 yeah. well, well, we'll start with some good news. Okay, okay. okay, I'm in. We've got quite a few African Grammy nominations, which is really, really exciting. Um, Any from Sierra Leone? Mm. I don't think so. I just Possibly? realized, sorry to come back to Sierra Leone. Maybe it's my new Zimbabwe. Um, Blood Diamond with... Sierra Leone. With, um, what's his name? Mr. I Only Date 20-Year-Olds. Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm. That is, uh, I remember watching that and thinking that was cringe. But I'm going to give it a rewatch now that I've refound my passion for. Was that in Sierra Leone? Sierra Leone. <laughs> uh, let's hope so. <laughs> I know Kanye has a song, Diamonds from Sierra Leone. 
Buy a mic, start a podcast, mm. make up that lies. easy. It's that easy. It's not because <laughs> Blood Diamond is from Sierra Leone. Yeah. I'll bet my last diamond on it. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. No so what diamonds. were you saying, Chloe? That you were talking Grammys. We've got yeah, we've got some African Grammy nom- nominations: Davido, Tyler. Make me swim, make me harder. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Yo, on repeat. Musa Keys, mm. Burner Boy, Asake, um, Amide, and Iris Star have all secured nominations. Nice. Um, the well award done, ceremony guys. will take place on the 4th of February, 2024, in LA, baby. LA, baby. I had no idea Tyler was South African. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable from, scenes. Yeah. Um, from Joburg. Yeah. yeah. She's making all those queens think they got it going on when... Uh, you don't. Uh, <laughs> did, you, did you hear the interview? Some of them do. The interview. Um, what did she say? I don't know. It was, she didn't. Well, she didn't say anything bad. I think it was. No, it wasn't Jimmy Fallon. It was someone else. Um, but she had a proper like South African accent, and people were applauding yeah. her for not like you know doing the switch up. With when I accents. go to America, I'm a talk She's like, like this. guys. Oh yeah. I'm like, okay, good on you. When's that? Yeah. <laughs> When's that? Yeah. She she was also saying that it is the the dance that she does is, is actually traditional African dance. It's not like Americans are like, oh my god, she's twerking. And she's like, with the water. In oh, her. yeah. What is it called? I don't know what it's called. Oh, I okay. That wasn't yeah. trying to out you. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. So it's okay. We must research that. Maybe yeah. we do more it's, research for the show. Yeah. It's it's really cool. So she um, has earned nominations in the competitive category of best African music performance, and then Burner Boy has secured nomination for best melodic rap performance we're sitting on top of the world featuring 21 savage i'm on top of the world good on good on but you know when yeah. tyler wrote water she was actually staying in cape town during the water crisis <laughs> during, <laughs> during day zero day zero i knew it's gonna be something silly, <laughs> something silly. <laughs> paid for by the da <laughs> <laughs> make me <laughs> Does yeah, anyone know yeah. any words to that song? Yeah. I will chat. Make okay. me yeah, sweat. Make me water. You know Make me lose my harder. Make me lose my breath. Make me water. Yeah. yeah. That's all we know. Make me. But honestly, it works so much better with an American accent. Can you imagine that song sung with a make me harder <laughs> make me lose my breath make me water. My breath, but why? <laughs> but so water. make me sweat. Make me lose my breath. Make me water. Make me sweat, make me hotter. Hotter. Hot like a heat or. <laughs> so that, if anyone can get verse one, I'll give you no, 500 rand. I don't know. What does verse one start with? What word? I'm giving up. I don't know. Starts with. Honestly, it will me. No, normally I can't keep my cool, but tonight. What the hell? Finally, I can't. Uh, uh. Can oh. you? Yo, so, but what a banger! That though. song's about sex, I think. Uh, yeah, most <laughs> nah, it is, probably. It is, it is, of it is, course. It is. <laughs> With the African tradition in it. Uh, yeah. Speaking of frauds, pick and pay is uh, trying to be shakers. Shek- <laughs> <laughs> shakers. What are we doing? Cringe. No, that was cringe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jeepers, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. There's going to be a fight. <laughs> Jaden is our buffer. Do you know, I think Raymond Ackerman also started Checkers. Oh, I'm did he? No, you yeah, can't no, be no, like I'm going to go search it. I'm you gonna talk search out it. your north, the whole podcast. And no, that it isn't. Reputational damage. Checkers uh, founder. founder. Maybe it was his sister. If I see it, Norman, no. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> Good thing. Oh you, yeah, yeah. The okay. film is late expanded by most successful oh, Okay, there okay. we go. There we go. But there you we see, go. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah, we learned. We've learned to listen. But pick and I'm pay, not going to say any facts anymore. Pick and pay. It's just it's a bit tough to tough to watch them. Checkers did such a good job at the Rugby World Cup. Like mm. their branding, they sent someone in like full Checkers 360 gear with their motorbike driving up towards the Eiffel Tower. Like mm. Checkers has just become an iconic. And they handed brand. the they handed the um things out. At the, I yes. was going to say the protest. We're so used to protest in oh, South the, Africa. At the trophy <laughs> At the celebration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was Everything, just fantastic. You see the, you see the traffic mm. police. Oh, protest. protest. <laughs> <laughs> now they're no. cool. And they have those small mannequins. The, the, the action figures of the yes. people on the bikes. Don't stuff. you mean mannequin? 
Do you say manic? No, no, you don't. Oh. <laughs> Sam's gaslighting you. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling goofy. <laughs> feeling goofy. So but what? But what, what? What is Pick and Pay's offering now? So Pick and Pay has said that they will give a full refund guarantee if the Proteas win the Cricket World Cup 2023. That's a safe bet. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> That's not like bet, the check is betting on the or oh, what was it? The TVs. The, who oh, was it? a game, wasn't it? Yeah, well, or Samsung. Okay. It was full, for Samsung you, TVs. They, you could buy the TV and if the box won, they refunded your... And so you I think, the same I think thing. They, yeah. they had to pay out like a million rand. Your yeah. Pick and pay. But this Times is for, tough. for yeah. all qualifying orders placed between October 30th and November 17th. Your. So, the, the, I mean, that's, nice. that's like two and a bit weeks. Yeah. yeah. It's time to spend. But again, I, do you, I just don't want to see Bavuma become the new Hansi Kronier. Do you, do you guys paid think? off by pick and pay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're on to you, Temba. Yeah, Thames. <laughs> Do you guys think that we... Well, I mean, for that, they have to win, which they can't just throw the game and lose. But do you guys think that we can Insightful. win? I think we mm. can win. I really do. Um, but it's going to be very tough. Like Sam said in the, on the left back, um, <laughs> RIP. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's... He doesn't see South Africa beating India in India or any team for that matter. So if yeah. New Zealand beats, South Af- uh, beats India... We win. And then the final... Obviously, we have to win our semi-final. Yeah. <laughs> Do we? But I really think we'll win. Mm. I, I'm, I'm almost certain of it. Yeah. But India, in India, we... we oh. That big stadium, what's it? That stadium called? That big, big... Oh, uh, they called it the big one. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a baby, but some... some mm, mm, Streetwise 4. <laughs> stay, <laughs> stay Gatsby. But no, um, enough of that wiffle waffle. Mm. More news on Uncle Waffles. <clears throat> nope. No one's biting because KFC did a failed promotion with her really? making the waffle chicken. That was a terrible and thing. people said it was uh, more akin to a blue waffle. Mm-mm. And Ooh. if you know, oh, you know. So we're going to recalibrate. I think the team's going to chat to me and we'll be right back uh, after this. Cancel, pick and pay. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, welcome back to the show. Um, Speaking of groceries... <laughs> Speaking of groceries and, and, and grocery stores, um, South Afri- the South African government actually recently um, released a report where they're aiming to introduce zebra and crocodile meat to the international market. What do we think? I don't, I don't see this in our market. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been there. Mm, give me a cut of the zebra. <laughs> Just the white pieces. Yeah, yeah, Just do you the want white. the black or the white? <laughs> I'm a white supremacist. Just the white, white pieces. Oh, my word. Crazy, crazy. here. Yeah, so That's apparently we, we, we have been exporting like, well, just more sort of like wild zebra game, game yeah. sort of, but uh, they said a mere 3,000 tons was exported last year, which I mean. It's a lot of zebra meat, it's a really? lot. Yo, in terms of elephant, not so much, but zebra meat. Zebra. That's off the charts. Uh, I mean, I Would you eat zebra that, meat? Um, I feel like it would taste kind of like the mix between like a horse and a cow. Oh, because you know what those taste like. <laughs> I know what a cow tastes like. <laughs> you might even know what a horse tastes like. Uh, 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 whose horse yeah. is that? Yeah. But um, no, I, I've watched Madagascar too many times. Big fan of Chris Rock, Marty the Marty, Zebra. Yeah. Couldn't do it. Chris Alex the Lion. Well. Yeah. 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 Apparently it's more health conscious though. So wow, crocodile wow. meat and zebra meat have less fat in it than like mm. beef. So, a more healthy alternative. And then a lot of these animals get culled every year. So, it is more sustainable. Yeah. We're like, killing them anyway. <laughs> so, <we're laughs> yeah. let's eat them. For real, though. That's us. But so, the strategy is expected to create over 200,000 jobs. And that's because, you know, the, the crocodile hunting is not easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you <laughs> crocodile you, that the, the, the employer, The employee turnover rate is super high in those murky yeah. waters. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, crazy. that was a good one. But, but yeah, two, thank you. Um, 200,000 jobs by 2030, if approached correctly. If you don't approach the crocodile correctly, it'll kill you. <laughs> What so, do they call it? The death roll. The death roll. Literally, roll. yeah. Doesn't even I used to love. I used to love Gator Boys yes. on the Discovery Channel. Was it Animal Planet Discovery G- Channel? Gator Boys. Gator Boys. Yeah. Gator Boys. No, I, I never I watched agree. that. It was cool. Um, but that that whole thing, I watched a big. I spent about three years watching this. Is a shark more dangerous than a crocodile? Mm. Wait, what's the, what's and, the answer? Well, and then this guy who had been he had been like attacked by both or something. <laughs> <laughs> and struck by lightning. <laughs> He was from Zimbabwe. He was called Unlucky Dube. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But anyway, um, unlucky. (laughs) 
Like he's just no. more comical. Yeah, yeah that's so true. Better. But anyway, he was like, no, a, a, a shark will rip you to pieces. A gator or a crocodile yeah. will drown you. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so, and then every the your experts pick. weighed in and they said it's probably worse to get drowned in that death roll mm. then you know you kind of like you like it's a mixture of the congo queen the cobra yeah. and the monkey falls. <laughs> monkey falls it was steve Irwin's son in that video that we were watching uh, i forget what his goat. name is robert Irwin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no he's alive <laughs> no <laughs> steve yeah <laughs> oh boy robert anyway. and, and bindi yeah but we we had the most delicious meal oh this is not sponsored or anything. I also hate well, when sponsors. Uh, yeah, please. <laughs> Zuni Wagui. Zuni Wagui. I've heard a lot about this. Zuni. Jaden, this heard is. Heard about it. You told us about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I told you last week. Yeah. Jaden, 11 out of 10. Really? Like, best beef burger I've ever had. It looks small, though. I wouldn't no. Lie. It's, so the burger is 100 bucks and then the chips are 30 rand. So it comes to 130 rand. If you're okay. getting a burger in town, I know a lot of people listening to this yeah. or watching this clip would be like, these fucking white people are fucked 130 rand for a burger mm. i'm gonna turn you into a burger um but <laughs> tiger's milk's burgers are like one but, thing, but one i'm saying yeah. you know yeah. you know if you 130 bucks is a big amount but the the value the quality, the quality. Oh, that proper. was the meatiest burger i've ever had Yo. but like meaty but like it doesn't like taste it's not like overwhelmingly beefy mm. like it just had mm. so many different like they had pickles on it this most incredible sauce and then the chips yeah. are fried in wagyu fat Oh, so oh, the chips are also basically. wagyu. Not yeah, gonna they, lie, they didn't love well, the chips. Wagyu fries. I don't love okay, the chips. Okay, they were they, far closer to KFC chips than Steers chips. And we know who's the king, yeah, of, yeah, king yeah. of chips. That's Steers. Okay, because it's hundred bucks for wagyu beef is is cheap. But yeah, the, yeah. So that's it's what I said. Cheap. I would yeah. feel absolutely stoked to go in. Who speaks like that? I'd feel absolutely stoked. Anyway, <laughs> Kawabanga. <laughs> Kawabanga, my brother. So hundred bucks. And you know, quite often you feel like a bit dirty after like a burger. Mm. Mm. This one, <laughs> you're feeling fresh, ready Spring for more. Chicken. Oh, yeah. Okay, you so, like, taste like more. But yeah, so that's cool. What is it? Try it out. It's Give really it a. Nice. Yeah, we can go. Where is it? I know uh, it's on, on Crow Street. Crow. Yeah. Yeah. It's next to yours truly. Yeah. Okay. 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 So gotcha, it's, gotcha, it's gotcha. basically replaced where Hudson's was. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got um, it. And got Hudson's, it. the new Hudson's as well. That's a very really nice. Very nice. Yeah. Bottom of Cliff. Closer to Close the to McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And they've really cleaned up that top end of Long Street. I remember when I was going out there, there was like you, it was very easy to get trucks. 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 But now I was Bottoms. looking for someone to talk to, <laughs> just to see. <laughs> um, couldn't find anyone. <laughs> Good. Just those, you know, those law enforcers yeah. with the what? baton. Yeah. And those, those and traffic officials. Not the traffic officials, the parking attendants. Yes. Yeah. Those ones. Yeah. Hey, they, 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 they're all over the guys. I think that there's yeah. a lot of um, buildings now as well with their own private security. Like I've seen a lot of people standing outside. So it's okay. much more. Yeah. But... Yeah, that's good. Chloe wanted to chat about crazy South African I did, stuff I did. sold in grocery when, stores. When we were when we were looking up grocery stores, it just like it's burned into my memory is these things sold at Pick and Pay. It was pop and wurst, but like <laughs> oh. ready to go. It's so half half. And it's literally in like a sausage um Casing. one of those casings, yeah. And like half of it is literally wurst and half of it is I can't lie, it just looks like a condom. It does. Yep. It does. It does. A, a, fu a full condom. <laughs> <laughs> for real though hey? and fish wars <laughs> fish are you fish guys fish? yeah you guys uh, spoke about this on yeah. uh, now it's not here yeah, yeah um, when, before I was on yeah, before I was you on. also get your um, bry meat packages but with an Amstel yeah. lager lovely I've seen attached those. to the meat <laughs> <laughs> and wrapped in plastic so uh, that so is this absolutely disgusting. And then, of course, crocodile and zebra meat. So. Mm. Didn't, but we, we spoke a lot about, you know, the corner shop culture yeah. in South Africa. You know, and you, Jaden, you bought some treats. I did. We, what, we're going to taste a few, have a look at them. I did. So the corner shop. Yeah. Again, everybody oh. knows about the corner shop. Well, for those of the don't. There's a shop in the corner. There uh, we go. Is it, <laughs> is it always on a corner? Usually. I don't know why it's always on the corner, but um, I'll just leave it on the floor. Why must I get out of there? Uh, um, taste test time. So, Mukbang time. Are these the essentials? These are not the essentials, but it's like, it's what I grew up on. Okay. Um, and I feel like everybody or most people should know about the same things. So these sweets, I don't know what they're called. 
Yeah. Show it to the camera, Dave. Um, these orange little peanut sweets. Um, they are absolutely delicious. You can have one. Um, Thanks. And then there's cheap chips. So I don't know what you call it. Um, but you just asked for chips, and these chips were like 50 cents, 25 cents back in the day. Yeah, um, what's inflation like now? What? This is, I think, a rand. Yo. Rand 50. Yeah, okay. it's not the greatest. Um, but yeah, I just feel like everybody should know that, you know, a corner shop is very... Um, how can I say it's 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 a pearl in the community, um, mm. and I feel like it's you like it's your meeting place for for when you were younger. Your bikes were outside. You used to play those box games, Street yeah. Fighter, Tekken, uh, yeah. Pac Man, all that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, I feel like the the shopkeepers they know everybody by face. Mm. Um, not your name though, but like by face. <laughs> and sometimes if you don't have money, you'll buy some like things on the bookie. So you'll say on the book, please buy. Um, I'll come the next time I'll, I'll pay I'll, I'll square it up with you and they're fine with it yeah. um, obviously you don't come every single time it's on the book on the book on the book Yeah. Um, it's quite yeah. nice that there's that, that trust within the community because yeah. it is such a place for community yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and um, yeah and it's like these, these small things that you only say at the corner shop um, so for example if you have a um, hundred bucks or let's say 50 bucks and you buy whatever you need to buy milk bread whatever mm. and you get change and maybe the change comes in coins so you'll say sweet to the change. Yeah. So you'll never mm. take a six take. stand in coins, you'll just take sweet. So you, when you walk home, you enjoy the walk home with sweets. Leave with mm. Yeah. Uh, so what are these? So bigger necks. Nice. Bigger necks. Those are elite. Those, these those are tasty. These are elite. What flavor is this? Is the That's just normal barbecue. Okay. And barbecue, then there's ghost yeah. lows. This is, I didn't tree. grow up on ghost lows. That's delicious. I didn't grow <gasps> up on ghost lows. This is so good. Mm. Oh mm. my, there's peanut butter. Not peanut butter, peanut sweet. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't taste um, like I never grew up on ghost lows. Um, I grew up on obviously cracker snacks. Mm. Um, mm. Right. Knickknacks, uh, stylers. I do have stylers here. The cracker snack economy at school was big. Mm. People would buy cracker snacks for next to nothing or have their parents buy cracker These snacks. These peanuts are the best. It's nice. So stylers. Good. And there's drinker pop. Ice this market. is elite. Drinker pop. Drinker pop. So drinker mm. pop was, um, it's basically a sugary powder thing and you just pour it into water and you drink it. But some people used to just put the, sh the sugar in, in their mouth. Oh, like sherbet. Yeah, yeah like mm, sherbet. So nice. I don't know how old this is. I didn't trust the buyer that I went to. <laughs> yeah, these are much um, so better don't, than... Don't, don't drink this. <laughs> these are much better than knickknacks. It is, it Let's is. see if there's an expiry. Um, yeah, and that's just, you know, there's... Thanks for bringing these along. Yeah. Oh, and these Wilson blocks. For those of you who don't know, a Wilson block, a Wilson toffee. Oh, mm. I used to love Yeah, them. these are just essential. I hate those mm. ones. Really? I only like the red one. No, that's the worst one. <laughs> White people. Yeah. Messing it up. So but yeah, that's, these are basically, Yo. you know, proper bites. Pop I've, got, I've got my peanut in my mouth. Now try it. I don't know. Also known as... <laughs> yeah. yeah, so these are just, you know, essentials of the corner shop. Mm. I like this Alibaba... Papa bites. That's Papa the, bites. That's the... That's the, that's the it's, a, it's a secret flavor. Mm. I don't know. We don't know what it is. Well, yeah. But that's the rich one. That's the, that's the fun. Yeah. It's so secret, they don't even put ingredients on them. <laughs> no, they do. But then you have the cheap one, the fisherman's one, which also, I also quite like, the spice. There's Mexican chili, there's fruit chutney, papa bites. Why do they call it fisherman's? It's fisherman's spice. Oh, I see. These yeah. are delicious. Vegan, no, yeah. yeah. Yeah, these are oh, the, the corner shop, yeah. Very nice. Cool, 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 cool. Is this the guy, the corner shop owned by the Afghanistani guys? Mm. So I bought most of these from the Afghanistani guys, Fuzzies, shout out Fuzzies. Um, but yeah, some of the stuff I didn't buy, they didn't have Wilson blocks, so I had to go to another one. That's why I don't trust the, this buy, because the buy that bought me the Wilson blocks got me the drinker pop. Um, yeah, so the Wilson blocks, the drinker pop, um, and, yeah, and the Cokes obviously. Not the Coke, not the Coke specifically, but the bottle. The bottles, yeah. So you usually go buy a 500 ml or 1,5 and you'll drink it up obviously and you take the empty bottle back to Fuzzy's or any corner shop mm. and you'll get money. So you'll get about, I think it was 1 Rand 50 or 2 Rand. Yeah. Um, and yeah, then you just get sweet um, to that. And the topper biscuits, also big? Big. Everybody knows toppers. Permeated the white community yeah. as well. Yeah, toppers are... Everyone <laughs> loves toppers. <laughs> yeah, toppers are... are cheap as well. It's like cheap. Mm. Cheap. Very cheap. cheap. But so, mm. so you basically got three... Three cooks. I mean, we're laying it all out here. Look at this. <laughs> One cook. I won't have now. Thank you. Ah, you there you go. Three Cokes, six packets of chips, sweets, biscuits, toppers. sweets, and what did it cost you? Uh, less than 100 bucks. Less than 100 bucks. Really? A, where's the bottle opener? Oh, there we go. Yo! Yeah, did it with yeah. you. Okay, look at that. 
even at Bryce with the screw tops, cast the light guys don't want to do that. No. With their, <laughs> or with their teeth yeah. as well. Oh, I that. Oh. Yeah, but that is the, the corner Ew, shop segment. What a war. Ooh. That's fantastic. We had a, a corner shop down the down the road from our high school. Mm. Called Woolworths. <laughs> <laughs> and that was also I mean there was just like everything there mm. it was always fantastic yeah they have they have a lot of stuff and it's all in small quantities mm. um, so you get like two rand coffee you go to the corner mm. shop ask for two rand coffee five rand cornflakes sugar um, so it's all in small you know packets yeah. that you just mm. need for the day and then yeah. maybe the, the weekend when you go to a mall or back in those days like the main roads and shopping centers and stuff like that then you'd maybe get, you know, your bulk of coffee or yeah. whatever. So, yeah. Well, fantastic. Thank you, yeah. Jaden. Thank we, you. Um, we rely on keeping the community together, Uber Eats. Mm. Except they don't have that pay later system. Okay. <laughs> Unless you have a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> then you are technically paying later. Um, but no, Uber Scooters mm. are coming to Cape Town. It's called Uber Connect and it's part of Uber's expansion plan into South Africa in its second decade. Which I... I, I <sighs> I feel that's cool though. Rough segue, admittedly, but uh, I just feel every, not every day, but at least two or three times a week, I see a guy yeah. offer Uber Eats motorbike. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, where, where does the responsibility come in? Because yeah. who, who, whose fault is that? Obviously, you can say it's the guy's driving yeah. and the guys don't drive well in traffic, mm-hmm. um, but that's born out of a, a need for money mm-hmm. and a and need the- for speed. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like the faster you drive, the faster you deliver the food, and the more deliveries you can do. More so money. It's yeah. just yeah. more money, more problems. Mm. Especially and Biggie. In Biggie would have abused Uber Eats <laughs> every day. Nom, nom. When I die, I want to have a Mac. But I do, <laughs> feel, I do feel sorry for these guys. Like you said, they just need to, you know, get through the deliveries as quick as possible yeah. for, to put food on the table and money yeah, in their pockets. Yeah. Especially like um, during those really big storms that we had in Cape Cheapers, Town. Cheapers, yeah. And these Uber Eats guys are still driving mm. around and delivering because that's how they make their money. Yeah. They can't take a day off yeah. just because it's raining. So yeah. it's really... It's terrible pa- driving in the rain. Yeah. I had a motorbike and it's not the best. It's not Did the you? Best. Yeah. I only had a motorbike. Before I met Willis, I had a motorbike. Back uh, in the just day. Just doing from campus and where I needed mm. to be. But um, I can tell you now for free, driving in the rain is not the best. That the, Obviously the water in your eyes and you put down the visor, then obviously your then visor you is see, yeah. misty and stuff. Um, and I didn't even drive in like a storm. Yeah. Where there was a storm, I would maybe get a lift with someone. Yeah. But it's also the, the actual tires, the yeah. tread of the tires. So if you need yeah. new tires, a lot of money. Mm. And then it's wet, you got no grip. Yeah. So I can so. just imagine how yeah. these guys must feel. Yeah. So whose responsibility is it? Is it the consumer's fault? I don't think it can be the consumer. No. Because that's the job creation, they're yeah. paying. I think, I think it's Uber's fault. I don't think that they offer their drivers enough protection. So like if they get into an accident, that would technically be like a workplace mm like accident or injury mm. so i feel like they should then cover or cover part of the medical bills yeah but they don't i mean there's barely any protection for, like, yeah. for drivers it's super unregulated it's like cheap labor but i'm about to say that's uber's business model <laughs> you know exploiting people and then i suppose we are part of it as a consumer They're like oh this is cheaper or blah 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 so yeah. Yeah. as per usual we don't have the answers do you know what <laughs> i've also seen is um in la they've introduced uber or maybe it's not even necessarily uber but it's food delivery robots that i mean and they are so cute they're like <laughs> this big and then they go on the little pavement and, and they're pretty slow and cute. they have the food inside of them yeah and they like trundle along to their destination. They stop, and you get a notification that it's outside. It op- you put in a code, opens up, and you grab your food, and it Yo. and it leaves to go to the next thing. But That's can, amazing. And I mean, some of them. I mean, it's not just on pavements. Like people have taken videos of them like traversing like fields. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine one like climbing Table Mountain. Like, okay, okay, okay. I must get to my own. <laughs> um, uh, but but I mean, in South Africa, that could just never happen. No like I thought that these when I first saw this Uber Connect story, I thought that you could somehow it was going to be like AI and it was going to carry around yeah. food by itself. I thought there is no, ma'am. no way that that's going to work. They would rob that thing. Yeah. Well, say, Robin, Robin in progress. <laughs> <laughs> malfunctioning, <Yeah>. malfunctioning. <laughs> but no, it's, well, speaking of things that have malfunctioned, Nisfas oh. is, is on the absolute brink. And oh my Nisfas God. is so important because it, it's literally how, you know, people get hundreds of yeah. thousands of Students. South Africans get, uh, you know, 
through their university degree, Tuition, supported yeah. through. Um, and again, people think, oh, it's just for the fees. NISFAS is often all-encompassing, obviously, mm. depending on what you've applied for. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, apparently students have been waiting for months to be paid out, months and months and months. And it was on ENCA the other day, headline news that NISFAS is on the brink so that's that's very scary. Oh, what, I, bankruptcy and stuff. Well, just uh, just in terms of it's uh, about to become like sort of null and void. I don't want to get too uh, emotive with the language, mm. but mm. it was the students' union that were just saying it doesn't work. It's not effective. Yeah, sure. So I'm not saying oh tomorrow no one's going to be able to cash then this first whatever. Mm. Yeah. But there have been thousands of people who haven't been able to access funding, yeah. which yeah. has a has a, obviously a massive effect yeah. on one's life. Yeah. And then there's obviously that student facing imprisonment for for that whole NISFAS yeah. debacle. Yeah. Do you think, sorry, do you think no, no. that's the student's fault? Um, where NISFAS paid, I think it was... 14 million 14 instead million. of 1,400. Yeah. Yo, I just, like, how does that happen and you don't realize that it happens on yeah. NISFAS? Yeah. Like, on the NISFAS side. Like, you guys have 14 million rand missing. Gone. Yeah. Missing. And they only found her after, I think it was... T- over two months. Yeah, 76 days later she was caught. This is Sibongila Mani, I think studying at Walter Sisulu yeah. University. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And so the whole problem was mistakenly given 14 million, spent close to a bar, that's a boot talk for a million, yeah. um, <laughs> on array of luxuries, including designer clothing, handbags, an iPhone, variety of drinks, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then she was caught. So how was she caught? This is so, it's just like typical. She left a receipt behind at a supermarket, which basically had her bank balance on it. And someone thought that that was suspicious and phoned the police. Where was she shopping? It doesn't. Yeah, fuck these people. Yeah. <laughs> but also like, imagine That's that. Nosy. Like someone just, just assumes, assuming, yeah. assumes that this woman shouldn't have that much money. Yeah. And called the police. I mean, no, they were right. Not, cool. not good. But I don't think it's her fault. If that happened to me, I'd maybe I wouldn't spend close to mm. a bar, but I'm saying I'll spend money if it's in my yeah. account. Yeah. I'm spending it. I don't know what the legalities are around it's a tough it. One. Yeah, I maybe it's more w- the tax SARS. Oh, it's tax free. Well, I'd, or I'd, if you taxed on one thousand four hundred, not fourteen million. I don't know. But I don't it's think like if someone by mistake transfers money into your account, mm. that it's all of a sudden just yours. Oh, and yeah. then she, maybe she takes out another Nisfas loan to pay off the debt. <laughs> 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 that'll that'll be approved in ten years. <laughs> no, I don't know. crazy story. Yeah. But but times. I mean, this has happened time and time again, where mm. students and specifically with Nisfas, it's not the first time, where they'll be get like millions of rands in their account, and it's often the first time that these people have ever had that much money in an account. Yeah. It's a, a, it's so much money for anyone yeah. to have. Yeah. Um, and often it's it's not on luxury, you know, Mm-mm. sort of stuff. You know, it might be going towards now I can pay my rent or whatever. Yeah. Um. But, but it, close to a bar, cheaper. That's all. But it, mm. but it's just buying something that's you know for luxury. It, but it gets dark. I mean, yeah. some people yeah. when they've just spent all this money and now yeah. they're facing prosecution. It's, yeah, I hope nothing bad happens to her. Yeah. I feel like they, they can set something up. But she uh, she's avoided jail time. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Confirmed. Yes. Oh, yeah. I thought it was five years of jail. No, she w- was facing that and she's managed to avoid it. Okay. Nice. It's nice. good news. Good for you, Everyone's it's good a news. winner. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Except this fuss. <laughs> anyway, so the Mr. the Mr. Beast news is massive as well. Guys, I don't understand this. So Mr. <sighs> Beast, he has faced criticism. Jimmy. Jimmy, yeah. What is it? Jimmy. Jimmy. What's his surname. full name? It, it's a really weird Mr. It's a Beast. really weird surname. Anyways, Mr. Beast faces criticism after building a hundred wells in Africa. Why? Surely you'd think that that was a good thing to do. People are upset. And they're upset because they think, well, it, people have got a lot of different reasons, but apparently some people are saying that he's spreading negative stereotypes about Africa, saying, oh, we don't have water. You know what these people have done for Africa? The people complaining about Mr. Beast. Mm, I, I, I'm, I'm willing to bet a lot. They've yeah. done absolutely nothing. Mm. Yeah. And we've also, there are quite a few South African connections to Mr. Beast. He's dating a South African, mm. Mrs. Beast. And... <laughs> <laughs> and um, Dan Mace, South African YouTuber, filmmaker, yeah. awesome person. He's been shooting all the content for, I think oh, it's Mr. called Beast, Beast Philanthropy. Yeah. Okay. Is what the, the yeah. And so they've, they've spent all this, and again, it's, mm. 
I, saw I see people doing challenges at the petrol station where they're like, oh, we'll pay for your whole tank, flip a coin. I'm like, okay. It's exactly the same thing. But, but no, I mean, there's no real value. Here you're changing people's, people's lives. lives. You had, hadn't had access to yeah. running water mm. or clean water. And yeah. I said, oh my word. But he made the people in the village look bad. You know, it makes it look bad. Mm. The government. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. And I think, the and people I think are supposed people to be upset. doing this for people. They're like, he, they're like, oh, he's upstaging the government and he's embarrassing Africa. It's like, why don't you think about the people who yeah. actually need the need the water and he's doing good yeah. for? I think another argument is also that he's only doing this for views and he wouldn't do it if he couldn't post it on YouTube. And I sort of think like, does it really matter? It doesn't, if, to me, if, it doesn't matter. The if, walls are there. If, if that yeah, good I is agree. being done, whatever. Like, like there's a lot of other celebrities doing things for Africa. I know Roger yeah. Federer, um, David Beckham. They did have obviously things for with their, with their Bill foundations. Gates. Mm. Yeah, for, for yeah. Africa. Um, so why isn't it a problem for them? Mm. I watched uh, the video, uh, or no, read the story. I didn't watch the video, but I did, then just thought I was like, wow, I'm useless because I haven't contributed to my community in a meaningful way like this and all your always excuses oh i don't have money oh i don't have money mm. or i don't have enough money or i can't build a hundred wells or, but there's so many things you can do yeah. Yeah. In, in different aspects especially in a place like south africa but then to have people going like we live in a hell where youtubers build wells in africa for content and we're expected to be happy about it what what, what, what? Mm. just Don't, relax yeah. or go do something you know unless you're t tweeting yeah. this in the middle of a children's hospital mm. while you're feeding some poor baby That's yeah crazy. shoot your mouth yeah. so uh, I, I think, think i think it's inspiring in terms of we should all aim to do like better yes yeah. and that's why they say charity starts at home i brought Jaden onto the podcast act of charity <laughs> <laughs> so it's a <laughs> <laughs> to the moon but no so yeah uh i think it's so sad that people yeah. that he's facing criticism of this but he yeah. he tweeted and he said i expected it mm. which it's so broken the cold world everybody's got a problem crazy world, we live in. crazy world we live in we're gonna save our we we developed a nice big story but we're yeah. gonna keep that for next week okay. on the on the zama zamas yeah. you know the legal Sheesh. miners in south africa it's a hot yeah. topic um, but and we've just been chatting too much. Flapping gums. <laughs> eating Flapping papa gums. bites. <laughs> <laughs> there are no worries in the world when you've got a papa bite in hand. <laughs> mm, oil. <laughs> There's a lot of oil. Yeah. <laughs> but now, it's tasty. We can go into my favorite section sport. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sport, our favorite section. South Africa are in a semi final. Mm, Hopefully. Cricket semi final. Yeah. Cricket. Yeah. It's even. Crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we play Australia in the semi, and I think that's on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, mm -hmm. And then India, New Zealand's down. The other I saw a great tweet. It's like the cocks got a semi, and it's right up against the Australians. <laughs> yeah. Really, that's just like <laughs> how often have South Africa and Australia played each other since Sandpaper Gate? Like no, many times. Often, yeah, yeah, many times. Yeah, yeah they, they were, Is it not like a big boy. No, it's not a, a mm -mm. No, we just played a ODI series against them before the World yeah. Cup. Beat them 3-2. Yeah. But yeah, so hopefully, again, we don't have premature ejaculation. The oh, cock in, out. the cock out. <laughs> nope. No. Yeah. Save that one for next yeah. year. <laughs> but I think we, we, we got eliminated by Australia twice in the semi-final. Yeah, the clues no one was Australia. Yes. Um, um, and there's one more. Before our time. <laughs> yeah, I think 1990. Before our time. Predictions? SA3, yes or no? I yes. think we're going to beat Australia and then have to play India in the final and that'll be very hard. Okay. Uh, Yours, Chloe? I agree. But I think <laughs> we'll win. I really do. You think we'll win the World mm. Cup? World Cup. Mm. Okay, well, you need to get down to pick and pay ASAP and start spending. <laughs> and Come start on. spending, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Pirates and Chiefs. Uh, one of the most underwhelming games on the calendar every single time. It's a Wita Derby. Um, you really think it's underwhelming? It's underwhelming. Mm. I think this. Were you not? Wa around. Maybe you're just whelmed. Yeah, I think it's just whelming. Mm. Mm. Not whelming. overwhelming. It wasn't over not under. underwhelming. Just yeah, it's just, just whelming. 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 I mean, it's one of the most watched sports fixtures in yeah. the world. I think yeah. he was there, the FIFA president. Yes. Yeah, mm. he was there. Infantino. Yeah, Today Infantino. I am South African. Oh, word. <laughs> Today I am poor. Yeah. <laughs> I feel Qatar. I feel, <laughs> I feel Vuvuzela. Feel, oh, oh, word. But, what yeah. a uh, but what's new about the Soweto Derby? I think it's just, like I said, it's just overhyped. The fans make it, you know, bigger than the actual game. It's always 1-0 or 0-0 or 1-1. Um, but yeah. Uh, Is that a problem we have in South Africa in football? Like we don't score enough goals? <laughs> or, like when last did you watch a 4-3 cracker? Because obviously um, City and Chelsea yeah, just played four, to a 4-4. Yeah. 
high quality. And I then think, we always struggle in national competition. I mean, mm, international competitions, goal scoring. Yeah, I think back then, obviously with the whole apartheid thing, everybody wanted just to be entertained. So that's why South Africa has the whole thing of like skills and issue ball boy and stuff like that because the fans came to the stadium or the football ground just to enjoy football. Mm. Um, back then, it wasn't about uh, how can I say? Obviously, it was about winning, but it's so seldom that you see you know two fans of opposing you know like clubs sitting you know hand in hand not hand in yes. hand but like shoulder to shoulder yeah um so it's more than just football and i think that's why we don't score a lot of goals especially in the soweto derby mm. i think it's more about who can you know showcase the better skill was that a cussy yeah. flavor cussy was flavor that, vibes yeah. yeah yeah okay so um and well sundowns won they, they won, did. Uh, they did. They, they won the African Super League against uh, Casablanca. We did Casablanca. Casablanca. <laughs> yeah, they Casab- all Who we they playing? We're playing African Casablanca. Who do you guys support? Sundowns? I support Pirates and Cape Town City. Oh, okay. Cape Town City because obviously, you know, you're Cape, Cape Town. Town, but I grew up on, on Pirates. Yeah. Sammy? There is some bad news. Okay. We're going to have to cut this podcast short because we've been flapping away. Chatting, chatting. <laughs> chatty, chatty. And that's good. The last thing I want to leave us on. Just in terms of again, again, a load shedding, mm. camera percentages, the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, please do review the podcast, like the podcast, share the podcast, mm. and get involved. Let us know who you want to see. We're moving, we've sorted out the studio so we can take guests, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Posted.